Hi everyone, welcome back to another NHL team preview. We're going to a team that I'm very high on. I don't know if they're going to come through this year and explode through the playoffs, but I like them. But unfortunately, they're banking on a 38-year-old goaltender. And that's not a great, great idea. That's Eugeny Nabokov, who has seen his better days in Saint San Jose, but it's still serviceable. They'll hope to get by with the defense core led by Lumineer, Vinovsky, Andrew McDonald, Thomas Hickey, Travis Dominic, Travis Hamanick, Matt Donovan, and Matt Cartner. Now, what do you notice about all those names? None are top pairing guys, and really, it's you're fooling yourself if you think that many of those guys are second pairing guys. You're looking at third pairing guys, and that's the weakness of this team in net and the defense core because it just does not stack up. I think this team's still a playoff team, but I think that's because they have a top five player in the NHL in John Tavares. And I think he'll be saying that by the end of the season. I think he's a candidate to win the heart, guy who could score you 50 and set up another 50 goals. His top line mate is from Guelph, Ontario, Matt Molson, a guy they got for. Pretty much nothing. Guy who can play any situation. And then you look at their other top goal scorer. Another guy they picked up off waivers. And that is from Austria, Vienna. For Vienna, Austria. Michael Grabner, former first round pick of the Canucks. Last year he had a rough season. But he had 30 his first year with the uh, Islanders. They let go of Brad Boys. They made their big offseason acquisition, trading for Cal Clutterbuck, the big physical winner, formerly of the Wild. They gave a former fifth overall pick, Nido Niederreiter, who I think will turn out to be a heck of a player in Minnesota. We look at some of their other acquisitions. They signed another Minnesota Wild draft pick, Pierre Marc Bouchard, who can be a good player when he's not dealing with concussions, and that's a big if, but nice third line center. Look at other guys, Josh Bailey, serviceable guy, N never gonna live up to the, the spot they drafted him in the top 10 in, in the draft a few years ago, but a guy you can use. Casey Sizikis has come a long way from a certain rugby incident. He's a very good player on your middle, your bottom lines, but Talk about a player that's difficult to play up against. That's Matt Martin. He's big, physical, punch you in the mouth, hit you, cross-check you. And now, one of my favorite players for special teams, that's Franz Nielsen, great penalty killer. I think that he kind of goes unrecognized. Uh, it's a shame that he's Danish and we won't get to see him in the Olympics. Even if they would be a horrible team, they, it'd be fun just to watch him play a number one role, getting a crazy amount of minutes. Anyways, I like the Islanders. I just don't think they've got enough on defense and enough goaltending. So I think they are a first round playoff exit. And that's my preview, the New York Islanders.